We have the broken three fast land hand. What's up, everyone? It's the one, Jamie. Today we are playing Esper mid range, but we are also playing Delny Streetwise Lookout. This card, I think, is very undiscovered in standard right now. It's three mana, two two, Human Scout. Creatures you control of power 2 or less can be blocked by creatures of power 3 or greater. And then, if an ability of a creature you control of power 2 or less triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. And it works for activated abilities and triggered abilities, death triggers, ETB triggers, literally any ability, which is interesting when you think about cards in this deck. Spyglass Siren triggers twice to make two map tokens, Fairy Mastermind triggers twice to draw two cards, Malcolm triggers twice to draw two and discard two, um, Schooner doesn't trigger twice, but we're playing this card because it's good anyway. Deep Cavern Bat triggers twice. We have uh, Sanguine Evangelist that triggers twice to make two bats, and also when it dies, makes two more bats, and also the Battle Cry, tr battle cry trigger also triggers twice. Okay, so Larsonist gets to exile two things from the battlefield. Pretty sure the Schism gets to trigger twice. Rafine's Scheming Seer gets to uh connive twice we have a shield in the deck because it's just a good card but also four copies of restless fortress because the drain also triggers twice since the restless fortress has one power also i didn't even mention that rafine and kaisa larcenus have ward and that trigger also triggers twice which is super cool so almost everything in this deck triggers twice and then we have removal spells like cut down and go for the throat destroy evil and two copies of make disappear we also have our sideboard that consists of a, a, a flurry of just cards that are good in general, but notably Lauren of the Third Path also triggers twice. We also have copies of, uh, we have a Nightclubber in the sideboard, which also triggers twice. See where I'm going here? We have Cut Down, two Disdainful Stroke, two Negate, one Anoint with Affliction, one Long Goodbye, one more Destroy Evil, one Parasitic Grasp against Mono Red. We have the Filigree Silex, which is a good a card against a Convoke deck to have a Sweeper on turn two of the game when they go off with a bunch of 1-1s. One then we have two copies of Tachana's Tidebinder. Unfortunately, doesn't trigger twice under downlay, but it doesn't really matter with this card. And then we have one copy of Vertai Resurrected. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I really, really like this card. I want to explore how good this card can be in Standard, and I think it has a lot of potential. So it all starts right now. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of this channel, and you can show your support while getting 5% off your entire order and a free The One James Goblin Shaman token by using the code JAMES5 at checkout. Need singles for constructed or kitchen table play? Looking to pick up sealed products or the latest in magic accessories? We've got you covered. CoolStuffInc.com is the place for all your Magic the Gathering needs, and support me by using the code JAMES5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, we're gonna keep this even though we have no white mana because we have no white spells. We have white mana now. We have the broken three fast land hand. Well, we have to play this, it's our only play and then it gets countered and then our Rafine is really sad. Ooh, they don't have it. Am I playing blue white control? Yes. Jesus Christ, their hands has nothing. <laughs> and by that I mean no lands. Description protocol with the deuce is pretty funny. So we actually can't resolve any of our spells because they have two counter spells in hand. So because of that, we should just take the memory deluge. No. We have to get lost. Just so we can keep hammering in with the bat forever? I guess that's the game plan. Ooh. They didn't want to draw into a land because they want to counter our spell. We have them where we want them. So that when they draw a card on the end step here. Actually, we should cast a spell because that means they can't draw a card to get to their land drop. They could just naturally hit their land here, which would be really bad for us, but. Fairy Mastermind is a good one. So 
So we should cast another spell here? <laughs> Which should just be shielded, and they're going to counter it with disruption protocol. But then that means I can't draw a card to hit their land drop. And then next turn we go Rafine, Flash, and Fairy Mastermind, and we should just win the game from that point. There we go. Play, play your land. Scoop it up. Nice. That was just a greedy keep from them. Okay. Blue-white control. Urtai. Tidebinder is like a flash threat, but it doesn't stop anything. I guess it stops like a Jace. Oh, I guess that's super relevant, right? So they kill us. Negate, Disdainful Stroke. Um, Lorna, the third path might be okay if they bring in, like, Temporary Lockdown? Yes, that's fine. But we're, cut, but we're cutting Cut Down. We are cutting Go for the Throat. We are cutting Kite Sail Larcenist. And this destroy evil, I guess. Chip it. Excuse me. That's pretty good. The gate. Take your quick study or something. Get lost double deluge. So I'll take one deluge, tempt them to get lost my deep cavern bat, and then we'll deep cavern bat plus negate the other two. There might actually be no way to stop it, right? Because they're on the play. If we were on the play, we'd actually be able to do this play and stop them from using the Deluge. But since we're on the draw, there's nothing we can do, I think. Because <clears throat> we can play our bat and take their Deluge, but then they get lost our bat. <laughs> get their Deluge and play a land and pass next turn. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. But if that's the case... We should just play play preacher here and get the preacher get losted. This deck could also play like one or two Plaza of Heroes, but it protects the Dalny and also protects Rafine. But I also wanted to play basic lands because of cards like Field of Ruin, like our opponent's playing. And our opponent's like, do we get lost the Preacher or get lost the Deep Cavern Bat? <clears throat> Oh my god, they main phased it. Dang, I thought they were gonna pass. We were gonna get to negate it, but we can't now. Alright, so we're gonna go schooner, attack with bat, and pass. Let's 
seed shark. No! Wow, that's so good against us. You literally have nothing, nothing for that? Get the player on no more lights. Gosh, playing around Mandalik is so much harder than playing around Make Disappear. So they just have everything? <laughs> they have everything, huh? Can we win this game by not casting any more spells? Potentially, take this march. And they can't really do anything unless they draw back-to-back -back lands. Crap, I really, really wanted that to be 4 power. Man, that sucks. Man, that sucks. There's two lands off the top. Freaking screw me over. If they top deck Jace, that would be a broken top deck. Because that would give them the artifact. The format of Jace or Wandering Emperor, it would give them the artifact and the... Or that. Oh my god, that's so good. Just any format of card so good right there, right? It lets them disrupt some protocol to tap this artifact and lets them keep two mana open for no more lies. What a broken top deck, man. It's really hard to beat memory... It's really hard to beat three memory deluges. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to be able to beat the, the Sea Shark now at this point in the game. I mean, I guess they have to double block with the Sea Shark. So I guess we can get rid of the seed shark if they want to get rid of our schooner. I guess they could kill the bat and then get their march back. So they are going to kill the schooner? No. <laughs> They did draw the other land for the memory deluge. Well, not not that they drew it, they could have gotten it off the deluge. I will be bringing bringing um, destroy evil back in for the seed shark if we lose this game. Especially since we're looking at two of them, two of them here. Gosh, if I flash in Fairy Mastermind right now, it doesn't really do anything. Attacking for them doesn't make any sense.
I could flash in very mastermind. No. The thing is, they can just counterspell both of our cards here, even if we negate their counterspell. I don't know why it's tapping both of our black mana. Auto Tapper really wants us to punt here. They're going to go to Disruption Protocol, and then they're going to tap their 4 4. Pretty good for us. Wait, it says as you cast a spell? Additional cost, okay. So they have to no more lies first to make the art. To, to, never mind, no, they don't. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They have to no more lies first to make the artifact. And then I guess we're going to pay for it. Guess we have to do we have to pay for it? You have to pay for it. That's fine cuz now that now we used one deep cavern bat to use Oh, wow, they didn't even they didn't even use disruption protocol. What? Oh. <laughs> Infinite counter spells, eh? We can schooner the Spyglass Siren, but then they can just like use a bunch of incubator tokens to block the schooner, even though it's it's a four five. Okay, let's see. It's a four five. They were they're just gonna double block the schooner, so I can't do anything right now with it. So we would trade our 4-5 with their 4-4 and then they would have two two things left over? That's pretty bad. Pretty bad for the home team. And if they ever kill our bats, we're in like deep danger. Yeah, and that memory deluge off the top was backbreaking. We also don't have a creature land yet. We don't have a Delny yet. We don't have a Rafine yet. I'm waiting for the opponent just to, like, top deck temporary lockdown and just put us out of our misery. Put us out of our misery. Wait, what? They're letting us block? I'm so confused. This has to be a bait, right? They have a destroy evil or something? Oh, they have a wandering emperor? No way they just top decked emperor. Ooh, I Gonjo? Oh man. Am I, am I playing around a freaking one top deck? I have to, right? Is it more likely to be emperor or more likely to be I Gonjo? It's more likely to be emperor. I get a ganjo to get that ganjo. Okay. Oh, they're gonna help us. I we couldn't deal with the seed charts anyway. Except for it doesn't help us because they have their whole board back or her, their whole hand back. Now we draw Delny. Still a freaking no more lies up or, or disruption protocol, and it's so stupid. Why do I have to play around a situational counterspell at, like, freaking seven lands? Man, th th this Chrome Host Sea Shark has literally bodied us. I'm, I'm just gonna scoop now, because we probably can't beat these tokens anyway. And then, uh... 
definitely bringing back back in stuff to kill the seed shark because that card bodied us. <coughs> Man, our four mana cards look really bad because of how good No More Lies is. What's up, Moth? I don't think cutting children against the control deck is a good idea, though. But it probably, it's probably just a good idea. What am I cutting? I'll cut a land. No, cutting land on the play is like really bad. <clears throat> we will cut. Nothing to cut. Cut a preacher, I guess. Preacher's not as good against their, like, destroy evils and stuff they could be playing. And it's not amazing, but I guess I'll keep it. <clears throat> it's got a creature land, it's got a turn 2, turn 3 play. This is gonna double trigger Malcolm. We can get rid of some of these lands. But they probably have no more lies in hand. Hopefully they don't. They don't. Double trigger Malcolm. Ooh, that gets the, the Malcolm triggers online super quick. It gets two chorus counters. I didn't even realize that. So one more attack and we get to cast stuff for free. No way they let me get away with that. Wow. No! Tidebinder. No. No. So we're going to stop this one trigger, but they're not going to stop the other trigger if we know what the affliction is right now. Three chorus counters. Alright, give me two bets. Give me two of your secrets. Oh god. Do I take the shark or do I take the deluge? You can't beat the shark right now. Oh, the shark's so freaking broken.
Oh well, just hope they just hope. Hope they don't top deck something good. Oh, we drew destroy evil. Oh, it's so good. Scoop, 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 scoop. We get to cast stuff for free with Malcolm. Let's go. I will cast this without paying its mana cost. Uh, I will cast... This without paying its mana cost. I will trigger Spyglass Siren twice. Now all we have to do is prepare for sweepers. So I'm just gonna pass. Oh, that was so busted. Now we're gonna get swept in Liz. Main phase deluge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go! That was so good! Starting on turn two for the rest of the game. Dream Root Cascade, probably a combo deck. <laughs> combo deck or slow Gurk? That lamb was good. Oh, that, this is probably like a picklock prankster here. Oh, no picklock prankster. A removal spell. They might, they might be playing Insidious Roots, but I, I think they would play a card by now if they were playing that. GG's, Delmi plus Malcolm feels a little gross uncontested. Think I played you on Jun Min Range earlier in the season two. Oh, nice. Nice plan against you. Yeah, that was super sick. Found in the third path. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's reanimating Jin Cataxius? Tempest Heart? Uh oh. What are they going to cast out of their graveyard? Another Bitter Triumph? Is that the only thing they can cast? Oh, they can cast out a worldly gaze. Guess I should just pass. I don't want to get bitter triumph. Did I tie binder at the right time? I had I just had to pray for no bat. Um I think you tie binder at the right time. Honestly, I wasn't even expecting you to play tie binder at all. I wasn't expecting you to even have it in your deck. But maybe I maybe I should have been expecting it. The early gaze. Turn two, turn two Malcolm, turn three Delny is actually absurd. The fact that you get two chorus counters and you get to start passing stuff for free after the second hit is absolutely bananas. To the point where I'm thinking I'm going to play like t at least at least another Malcolm. Can I make disappear this? Just gonna mill cards, right? I don't. Th I don't think I have to care about this right now. And they're gonna cast bitter triumph or whatever. Larcenus is probably bad, but so is Preacher. I guess Larcenus gets rid of, like, their Jinkataxius. <laughs> and... 
They're gonna bitter triumph by Malcolm? Sure. Discard a card? Discard a Traxa? Got it. So we're gonna double mastermind here and then deep cavern bat plus make disappear. Take away the terror tide. And then Stop whatever spell they play. I don't have to stop this, right? The dream would be just to draw a land. And untap land next turn. Oh, well, wow. Well, now I have freaking stuff to worry about. That mill was really good. So we're gonna make disappear the squirming emergence and hope they don't top back another squirming emergence. Uh, they can't, right? Unless they top, unless they, yeah, no, they can't possibly do that because they actually have to pay the mana for squirming emergence. I'm sacking a fairy mastermind. Wait. No, I'm sacking a bat, right? They can't cast a terror tide and they just I'm sacking a bat and they lose to schooner, but they lose to schooner either way. Yeah, I'm just gonna sack the bat. What's good against their deck? Urtai? I wish I had a... Um, wish I had a hearse in here. Urtai's good. Cutdown's bad. Tidebinder's good. The gate's good. Broke is awful. Unless they hardcast something. Lauren is good. Destroy Evil's good. We cut five cards. They have Terra Tide in their deck. Larceness is awful. Creature's not fast enough. Children's probably bad. Have I seen much blue eye control after Karlov? I saw you had a really bad run with it just before the set came out. Yeah, I had a really bad run with uh, Esper Control. But uh, Crokey's built a blue eye control deck to, um, today slash last night. And he went like 20 and 4 with it. So um, it seemed. It seemed, it seemed like he was having success with the Doorkeeper Thrall, because Doorkeeper Thrall is so good against Boros Convoke. So, door, Doorkeeper Thrall... Doorkeeper Thrall plus... Like, main deck temporary lockdown or something like that, is really good against Convoke. So, as long as Convoke is good, and people are playing that at a high rate, Blue Light Control is going to be good. Uh, this hand is good. It's not super ideal, though, since we don't have early aggression. But we have a we have so many cards that have early aggression, so it shouldn't be that bad. Best draw, I think, is like Spyglass Siren. Nope. This this is good aggression. Please don't play Founding the Third Path. Thank you. Let's 
Seachrome Coast Pass. We did draw a double tie binder to negate destroy evil, so we have drawn our entire sideboard. Sure, I can race that. They do nothing but flash and mastermind. They haven't drawn green mana yet. That's a siren. I don't think we'll need Tidebinder yet. I think playing this Black Glass Iron's fine. They're gazing into the future. What was that planeswalker that was like gazing to my face? Or whatever, and it sounded exactly like that. Who said that? What planeswalker is that? Oh, it was Oko. I think I think it was Oko. Oko, Oko Thief of Crowns. They had not drawn green mana yet. We're definitely racing the three to one, three to one race here. I don't think there's a way we can lose this game with the hand we have. But listen, I've lost worse. I've lost in worse ways. So we didn't have aggression, but uh, I am happy to tell you that we have drawn creatures. You're against Doom hitting all the celebrities? Listen. I might I might be having like whatever it's called where you don't really feel like you're a celebrity, but I don't feel like I'm a celebrity. Pick clock, prank your mom. Uh four. You get a duress and a bitter triumph. I guess I have to negate this duress. <laughs> I don't like it though. At least they can't at least they can't play a land and then kill me. I wonder if they negate my negate. That would suck. They cast a pick lock. Pretty good really good blocker against me, Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, that changes things. I can't really afford to play Rafine this turn, though. Okay, I can afford to play it next turn. I'm gonna do this and then pass, unfortunately. Man, this picklock prankster is a literal stone wall against my board. <laughs> That's so sad. Why not just attack with the prankster? I'm not gonna block it. Oh. They're just gonna let me fairy mastermind? There's no instant speed way to do anything in this deck, right? They, they they might have a hide binder of their own. Oh, they're gonna let me draw draw three. Would love to draw three. Thank you. My God. Oh my God. What am I gonna do with all these resources? Although half my hand does nothing. <laughs> Although we do get to Rafine plus tide binder. Is that good? <laughs> I 
I don't know what they could have here. Good luck against Doomwake, though. What's Doomwake playing? There's a underground mortuary. They have a better triumph here. I mean, I guess they can have a sweeper. Oh yeah, they can terror tide me. We don't have a counter spell. Uh, yikes. Uh, yep, time to get terratided. Oh. Okay. Do a squirming emergency in here? Nope. They can't cast terratide. They're gonna duress me? What does that even do? And just let that go. I, and I guess they could have they could have land plus squirming emergence in their hand right now. But that doesn't do anything to, to, to Tidebinder. They take my schooner and my destroy evil, and then they're sad. They have to take destroy evil, right? Because because after we Tidebinder, they're there are tracks of where we're gonna need to actually kill it. So they squirming emergence, and then we tide binder the trigger, and then it, it does make the tide binder not flying. We actually might be able to kill them. Oh, can we actually kill them? One, two, three, four, five. We kill the flyer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We if we go for the throat, attack all, and then discard one hundred percent non lands, we can kill them. Wait, if we had an untapped land, we could play untapped land attack with the fortress as well, and that would definitely kill them. We have to do this. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> this is exactly full. God, Rafine's so busted. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. We did get to do really cool Downy stuff. I, I, like I said in the video, I think I might consider playing one more Malcolm, if not two more Malcolms, because turn two Malcolm, turn three Downy is kind of like the rush we all need in Magic the Gathering. It's so good. Uh, I, I want to play four Rafine, because every time you draw that card, you basically win the game, but I don't even know what I'm cutting. Like, I don't think you cut a removal spell. I don't think you, you can go to one Make Disappear or one Cut Down and then play like one more Rafine. We're already so heavy on the three drops also, but you also saw how much life this can gain and how much life it can deal with Delny in play. So that was like super freaking good. I might want to play a, a, um, uh, 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 unlicensed hearse in the sideboard. I don't know what I'm cutting though, but anyway, I think this deck felt really strong. Um, I really hope that you, you, uh, kind of felt the power of Delny and want to try it out for yourself. If you do, check it out the deck list down below. And I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.